Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. On the menu today, and as you can see, hot out the oven. We're gonna make spinach and ricotta cannelloni. Absolutely beautiful. Pasta tubes filled with delicious ricotta cheese, spinach, tomato sauce, and cheese banged in the oven. It is wonderful. Let's get moving. Let's see if we can get some of this out of here. That is looking absolutely delightful. Okay, so the first step is to prepare our spinach. Now I've got some fresh spinach here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off about there. You know, we don't want those roots in there. And then give it a nice wash in some cold water because you will find you'll get some dust, grit, or even small stones within that. Then what I'm gonna do is get it into some cold water in a pan with just a little touch of water. You know, you don't want too much. You don't wanna be boiling it in a, a way. Just a little touch of water with some salt. Lid on, it'll cook in about four or five minutes. Then what I'm gonna do, let it cool down. We can chop it up, it's beautiful. Now, if you want, you can completely skip this stage and use you know, a frozen chopped spinach if you want, but fresh obviously is better. Let me do that. Okay, so cleaned, washed nicely. There's hardly any water in there, you know, less than half a centimeter or something like that, because this is gonna give off plenty of water itself. Lid on, maybe five minutes or so like that, it will really break down. We're then gonna drain any excess water off it, chop it up. So the next step, you'll see it chopped up. Now what I'm gonna be using today and always actually, because it's so convenient. I'm gonna use this pasta like that, familiar kind of tubes, but it requires no pre-cooking. The great thing about that is, I mean, if, if you have to cook them, basically they just become like a piece of jelly in your hand. They are hard to stuff. Like this, they're absolutely beautiful. They're nice and rigid. We just get them in put the sauce on and then off they go. Much, much easier to, to just to work with, really. Uh, I'm not endorsing this brand in particular. I mean, you, you, can get, you can get it in different brands, I presume. Um, although I do like uh, Borrelia. Um, that's it, so yeah. I like this one, no pre-cooking. I also use the same for lasagna. Okay, so that's all cooked. You don't get a lot out of it, do you? There was a lot of spinach there. It's just turned up into that little ball. So it reduced down. Once it cooled down, I just squeezed the water out of it so it's fairly dry now. We can move on. So just before we get to the cooker, because we're gonna fry the spinach a little bit, I wanna give it some flavor with some seasoning and some garlic. Just wanna take a quick look at our ricotta cheese. So I'm using this brand here. There's plenty of brands out there. I think this is a good one. Let's move on. So I've got a skillet or a pan here. I've got some olive oil in there. We're gonna drop in that little bit of onion Cut it nice and small, small amount. To that I'm gonna add some garlic, maybe two or three cloves of chopped garlic there. I'm gonna add some salt, some black pepper. A couple of teaspoons of dried oregano. And then we're gonna add our spinach. Now what I've done now is I've now chopped the spinach. Just like three to four minutes, getting some lovely onion, garlic, seasons, flavors into that spinach. Keep it moving. Okay, so here we are. You've seen the spinach being prepared. I showed you the ricotta. Here I've got some grated fresh Parmesan cheese. What we're gonna do is give that a mix. Now, you, you can really, you know, play around with the amount. You can go heavy on spinach, heavy on ricotta. It's up to you. Let's give that a mix. This is gonna be done. Okay, that's a nice consistency for me. I like that kind of balance. That's it, beautiful. Let's now move on to the next step. 
get this inside our pasta tubes. So here we are then, so we've got our filling made. I showed you the pasta that we're using earlier, which is a, a no cook pasta. Now, if you wanted, what you could do is you can get some sheets of lasagna, cook them, and then you can roll them and, and put it in. We're gonna go this method. So what we're gonna do is grab one of our tubes. Basically, we need to fill them up. Now I'm gonna go with a little spoon and put it in. Now, if you've got a pastry bag, you know, you can fill it up, fill this in a bag and pump it in. For the life of me, I don't know where my pastry bag is. So I'm gonna be doing this by hand like that. I'll be back when these are done. Okay, they look fantastic, don't they? So I've got 10 of those in total. So as you can see, they're filled all the way. Now, only one more step, and that is to get a tomato sauce together. And it can be really simple or as complicated as you like. We're going to go really simple. Okay, so we're going to go for a very simple tomato sauce. There's one can of chopped tomatoes there. We're going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to add a little bit of dried oregano. I'm going to add some olive oil. I'm going to add some black pepper. And then what I'm going to do is just give that a mix and this very simple tomato sauce is ready. Okay, we've got all the components together now. Okay, so here we are now. You're going to need something that can go in the oven. I'm using ceramic. You can use metal or you can use glass. What I've done is I've put about half of our sauce in the bottom there. Simply, we're going to place in the pasta. I'm going to take the other half of the sauce and we're going to pour that over. Just try and get a little bit of it on each piece. And that's beautiful. All we need now is some cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Parmesan on there, grated Parmesan. And I've got some grated mozzarella. You could be using a cheddar if you want, but the mozzarella works really nicely. So this is going to go in the oven. Now all ovens are different. I'm going to leave some timings here. And because we've got the no cook, Pasta, you're going to need to, of course, look at the packet there. So I'll leave some details below. A little bit of dried oregano or oregano, as some of you call that. A bit of black pepper. And this is going to go into the oven. Like I say, check the text below for all the timings. We'll see you when it comes out. It'll be done, it's beautiful. Okay, and that's it, beautiful. If you want, you can make it a bit wetter than that. I mean, it's nice and moist and beautiful. I like it just like that. Some people would also add a bechamel or a white sauce and then some cheese on the top. I'm going with straight tomato. That is absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoy that. Check the text below for the cooking times and temperatures. We'll see you soon, lots of love. Let's just get in there. Wow.